Hello and welcome to this special series on trading economics. In this video, I would be sharing with us how to use trading economics to analyze the global financial market and to use the information obtained on this website to get to place trades. In order to continue to enjoy good content like this one, um, I want us to uh, like, subscribe and share this video so that others can also benefit from the information we are going to be sharing um, on this particular channel. This website is more elaborate than any of um, the economic event aggregator that we might uh, possibly be using in the past. Uh, some of the other alternative that traders do use is the Forex Factory um, website, but this particular one is more elaborate. You have access to more information on this website than any other ones that um, perform similar roles. On the front page of this website, uh, the first thing we would uh, take note of is the major events that are taking place prior to that particular moment when you have launched the website. And um, yesterday, uh, a big data was released from the United States and that is the caption on this website at this particular point in time. It said US economy had more jobs than expected in September because the non-farm employment change uh, data was released from the United States yesterday and the data came out pretty, pretty good. And that's why we're having it as an headline on this website at this point in time. So taking a look at the right hand side of the site, you get to see different assets that you can trade and obtain information on. Uh, starting with the commodities, you have, you have commodities, we have Forex, that's talking about currency pairs, you have the index, you have the stocks, you have the bonds, and then we also have access to information um, on the cryptocurrency market. So here we have Bitcoin, Ether, Binance, Cardano, and the likes of them. So you have access to all of these assets on this website. I would be starting now with the calendar. How do you utilize calendar on the trading economics website? So now we would click on calendar this way. So the calendar on this website, uh, just as I was saying earlier, is more elaborate than the one you have access to on Forex Factory or on some other news aggregator that we might have been used to. So you can see here, uh, today happens to be Saturday, October 8, 2022. And on this day, some data uh, had been released from China. So you have this and then the composite PMI and the services PMI released from China earlier in the day. Uh, so that's uh, that with the calendar but there are some other settings we also have the opportunity to um, do on this website the first thing is the impact or let me even start from the date you have the opportunity to select the date do you only want to look at today do you want to check news about tomorrow do you want to look at this week next week next month yesterday previous week previous month or you want to customize the time all of this is available to us. We are the one that will determine the length of the information we want to have access to at a particular point in time um, on this site. After the date, we have the impact. And on the impact, impact here is represented by stars. The first star, as we have here, can be likened to low impact events on Forex Factory. Uh, website. So when you have one star, it means the events you want to have access to should be uh, low impact. When you have two stars, that means you are interested in focusing on medium impact event. And when you have the three stars, it means you are more interested in the high impact event. And for those of us that have been in this market for some time, we have been able to understand that it is the high impact event that gives us the kind of peeps we are really looking forward to earning from the market. But once in a while, we can also still get to make something from the medium impact, which are the two stars. So I'm going to uh, take out the check before the um, low impact. Then I'm going to check the medium impact as well as the high impact events. So this way, all I will have access to at this point in time is just the high impact. But if I want to have access from the medium impact upward, then I check this way. Then I have access from medium impact to high impact. So this particular setup at this time is better than what I had initially. So this one gives me access to medium impact as well as the high impact economic event. So from the impact, we have the countries 
I also have the opportunity to select countries I want to access that information because this website is more elaborate as I said earlier so it covers a whole range of countries across the globe especially countries that make their data available this website is going to cover it so I can um, also decide which area am I looking at do I want to have access to data from Georgia for instance Algeria Afghanistan and the likes of them and they are even broken down into different continents so if I want to look at Africa I just click on Africa then I look at different countries in Africa which of them do I want to have access to their information I check them out then I would uh, click on save to save information concerning those countries which I want to be having access to so that's how countries work then from countries we have category category gives us the opportunity to select the category of information we are interested in am i interested in all events am i only interested in trading interest rates prices and inflation labor market gdp growth foreign trade government business confidence consumer sentiment housing market or the bond auctions all of these are available it is all left for me to select the ones I am interested in, if I am not interested to all of them, or if I'm interested to all of them, I just pick all events and that uh, wraps it up there. The last path is the selection of the time zone. The country where I'm making this video from happens to be on UTC plus one. UTC plus one is synonymous with GMT plus one. So that's why I'm on UTC plus one. So depending on your nation, you can also get to select your time zone on this particular website so that whatever time being displayed on this site will be in your own local time so i can save this at this point in time so that every information i'm going to be having access to now will only be according to um this particular event that i have selected so i'm on recent let me just go with this week so i have access to information for this week but Based on the countries I've selected, I only selected Africa, and that's why I couldn't have access uh, to some of those information. So let me go with all. Then all countries across the globe, uh, we have access to their information from the medium impact to the high impact economic event. So for the following week or for the week that is to come, we have uh, Monday, October 10th. And these are the time when those events are expected to be traded. And these are the currencies that the data um, is going to affect. We have TR, TR is Turkey. We have BR, that's Brazil. That's Euro area. Uh, this one, EA, is Euro area. We have the US, we also have the US. And this represents the data itself, the data we're interested in trading. And uh, we have the actual. The actual is going to come out as at this time. For those of us that might not really um, understand this portion um, of this site, I will advise us to look out for a particular video that has also been made um, on forexfactory.com. So how do you trade with forexfactory.com? That already explains how to work with actual, previous, consensus, and the forecast as we have on this website. So this is how the calendar works. You have access to information across the globe. You interpret those information and then you utilize them to trade. For instance, if you are um, trading the Brazilian real, you will not have access to data from Brazil on forexfactory.com. But here we have on trading economics, this is a particular data from the Brazilian Central Bank um, to be released by 12.30 p.m. on Monday. I have access to it here. This gives me the opportunity to know, oh, this would be a good time for me to trade the Brazilian real, for instance, and the rest of um, other countries' information. Are also available on this website so from calendar the next thing i'm having here is the news so i go to news and i have different major news across different economies yes so the news we have one from china so china composite pmi sinks to four month low so i get to see this and if i am interested in that particular news i can read more by just clicking on it this way then it gives me more information about the composite pmi what will likely be the effect of that particular information and the rest of them then the services sector also in china shrinks this is already pointing to us that the chinese economy is not really doing fine as much as they ought to because key data that will tell us the state of the economy is not uh, really pointing out 
uh, a good state of the economy based on this the pmi that is the purchasing manager in there is, is sinking the services sector is shrinking which other sector is really developing if uh, the purchasing managers are not really having confidence in the economy of um, china then the new zealand dollar hit 30 months low we've seen it bring back uh, really surging massively against currencies across the globe so it's not a surprise that the new zealand dollar is eating um, a low a 30 month low against the greenback because the greenback has been massively strengthened by the aggressive stance of the federal reserve and the rest of them so you have a lot a lot of news across currencies commodities and then the index covered where you come on the new segment of this website so from the news we have the market the market is broken down into different assets starting with the currencies the currencies are the currency peers so we have access to information about currencies when you go to currencies so let's see what the currencies is going to look like yeah so we have the currencies we have the current price of the currencies we have uh the day change in percentage we have the weekly change on that particular currency pair the monthly change in on that particular currency pair the year on year so this year compared to the same level as at last year and at what point in time was these figures obtained so it's october 7th uh, as we have it here so we could see the greenback gaining massively against all of these currencies yeah so percentage drop in all of them against the greenback Whereas against the Japanese yen, we could see a surge because the Japanese yen happened to be the code to the USD. That's why it's a plus in this instance. And we have it as negative, meaning the dollar has been strengthened against all of these currencies, even including the Chinese yuan. And we will understand why the Chinese yuan uh, is also losing from the previous information we saw on the news. They told us uh, the purchasing manager index is dropping and the services sector in china is shrinking so definitely the chinese yuan is going to be weakened and we can definitely get to see that from the percentage that is displayed on this particular page so that's currencies so we can also do the same thing for the stocks you see what the percentage either rise or drop in uh, the price levels of each of those index um, has been like and the good thing of, about this website is the inclusion of different continents so you have Europe you have different index from the Eurozone or the Euro area it also includes America so you have US 30 US 500 um, and the likes of them you have Asia uh, then we have Africa yes you can see Africa this is Nigerian Stock Exchange all shares index that's uh, the index that measures uh, the relative strength of stocks li listed on the Nigerian Exchange Group. So you have SA40, SA Hall, Egyptian 30, and the likes of them. You trade or you are interested in investing in Africa, you can have access to information about the stock market in Africa also from this particular website. So that's the market and that's the stock portion. So we have commodities the same way. So we have different commodities. This crude oil is um, the U.S. oil. That's um, that is um, WTI. We have Brent, natural gas, gasoline, and the likes of them under commodities. And from commodities, we have the bonds, different bonds across the globe. If you trade or invest in the bond market, you have access to information across uh, the globe on the bond market. So we have cryptos, right? Crypto trader. You can get to see what the price change has also looks like. The market capitalization of the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in trading the percentage gain or drop in price you can also get to see it and recently one of these cryptocurrency has really really defiled all logic you are gradually seeing um ripple ripple um at some point had an issue with the united states security and exchange commission but it's looking increasingly every day that um, the ripple project might be able to um judgment in their favor and if that eventually happen we might see ripple continuing in this kind of massive gains uh, that this site is currently showing to us as uh that has happened on srp that is popularly called um ripple so that's the crypto market so you also go to earnings you trade the stocks or you trade index you can also pay attention to different stocks across the globe 
when are they going to make available their earnings reports what is the consensus going to look like and are those companies able to meet up with the expectations whenever they do you should be expecting uh, a bullish move on those stocks at that particular time so you can pay attention to earnings from different com companies across the globe also on this website so from the earnings you also have holidays do you want to know when a particular country will be on holiday get to see it also on this website so holidays across the globe which day was the name of the holiday you see it on the website that, so that's it on market so from market we move to indicators indicators are pointer to the state of the economy indicators make us to know if the economy is strong or it's not doing so fine so you have indicators like the inflation rate we do not even need to check that because at this point inflation rate across the globe is soaring higher so we already know that that's an established fact but we also have some other indicators like interest rates central banks have been trying across the globe to arrest inflation rates by hiking rates yeah they have been hiking interest rates in order to arrest the rise or the growth in inflation we have unemployment rate we have gdp growth gdp per capita gdp value current accounts credit ratings of different countries are they credit worthy or not wage growth gold reserves are they holding um, gold as a reserve government debt was so the size of the debt of the government crude oil production if they are an oil producing country gasoline prices across the world then it's map table of those countries so you can analyze a particular economy by paying attention to these indicators that tell us oh this nation is not doing fine this nation seems to be doing extremely well at this point in time and countries uh so you can add more countries if you are interested in looking at those economies in depth so from the united states to china to japan to canada to australia to brazil and you also have the option of including more countries so that's countries and from there we have the forecast so forecast across different assets that we've talked about so from the countries to the crypto markets what is the forecast going to look like you have access to all of that um, when you check the forecast so i believe it's been an enlightening moment being a part of um, this particular edition of this um, series on this channel so i look forward to having us very very soon for another enlightening um video that is going to be released so it's a good time for us to like this video subscribe and then share this particular video so i look forward to having us pretty pretty soon thank you thank you and thank you